G'day, I'm Pete and you're watching Feral Fabrications. Today we attack a mag wheel with my plasma cutter. It's a little 40 amp unit and isn't really rated to cut through some of the thicker parts of the mag, but I give it a go anyway. It's not all fun and games because I want to use the pieces of the mag wheel to melt down on my little furnace I made and I'll chuck a link to that video. So here we go, we attack it with the plasma cutter and I realise straight away I haven't cramped my air pressure back up on my air pressure regulator on the compressor so I banged that up to 30 psi and it seemed pretty happy there. Once I hit the thick bits it did struggle again but I just sort of persevered. I think what's happening there is the aluminium oxide's building up on the cut and because it's not getting cleared out with the air pressure and that aluminium oxide isn't conductive so eventually the arc stops conducting to the workpiece and you've got to sort of move the torch along to some clean aluminium. Here we go, we'll enter time lapse mode. We're running at about uh, 30 times normal speed, so uh, we'll be able to figure out how long this um, actually took, roughly. And yeah, I was uh, giving the plasma cutter a few breaks as well, just in terms of duty cycle and not overheating the equipment. And with a bit of help from the hammer, you know, we managed to break this mag wheel down. So enjoy the little sped up video footage of just absolutely destroying this mag so that I can put it on a crucible and melt it. So I hope you enjoy the video, uh, something a little bit different, um, it certainly made a bit of a mess but you know I built that area out there so that I could just replace a few cobblestones um, whenever I sell the place and it'll look as good as new so I'm not worried about making a bit of a mess around the workbench there. So uh, I think we'll show you the burner next video, I uh, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one, cheers.